हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू वेलकम अगेन टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल इंजीनियर्स वर्ल्ड सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज लीनियर मेजरमेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी स्टडीड अबाउट एरर्स एंड एक्यूरेसी नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट विद लीनियर मेजरमेंट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी मस्ट नो वट लीनियर मेजरमेंट्स मीन सी एवरी सर्वेयर हैज टू मेजर द हॉरिजेंटल डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू पॉइंट ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ अर्थ so measurement of horizontal distances or making linear measurements is required in chain surveying traverse surveying and other types of surveying so the main purpose of surveying is to plot a plot a map of the area and as we know that the map is map can be plotted only on a horizontal plane so in surveying the distance between two points means horizontal distance always remember now coming to the methods of linear measurement generally there are three methods of making linear measurements and what are those first one is direct methods second is indirect methods no sorry uh, optical methods and third one is edm methods now i'll briefly explain one by one see what are direct methods as the name suggests indirect methods the distance is actually measured in the field using a chain or a tape these are the most commonly used methods for linear measurements now in optical methods the distance is not actually measured in the field it is computed indirectly so the principles of optics are used to determine the distance or uh, generally we use a special type of thread light fitted with a stadia diaphragm that uh, instrument is called a tachometer uh, we will study about tachometer and tachymetry in further lectures so i'll not go in detail third one is edm methods as the full form of edm is electronic distance measuring instruments so nowadays these have been developed these are of two types electro optical which use light waves for measurements of distances such as geodimeter micometer etc and second ones are microwave instruments which use radio waves for the measurement of distances such as distameter microchain etc so these were the three methods of linear measurements now here are also some approximate methods which i'll give you a brief knowledge about those approximate methods so first one is pacing as the name suggests suggests pacing a person can determine the distance walked by counting the number of paces made so uh, the distance is obtained by multiplying the number of paces by the average length of the pace second one is pacometer see in this Uh, this is the count uh, the counting of number of paces for a very long distance becomes monotonous so we use a mechanical device known as pacometer which is quite convenient to register the number of paces see it registers number of paces remember now third one is pedometer now what is the difference between pacometer and pedometer as both are uh, approximate methods see in pedometer it is similar to pacometer but the difference is that it registers directly the distance walked and not the number of paces so it registers directly the distance distance walked and not the numbers 
Now another is odometer. Everyone is familiar with odometer. So what is odometer? It is simple device which is usually attached to the vehicle, uh, to the wheel of a vehicle or bicycle. It registers the number of revolutions made by the wheel. Number of revolutions. made by the wheel and the distance covered is then equal to number of revolutions and the circumference of the wheel similarly other are uh, others are speedometer measuring wheel etc so this was brief introduction about linear measurements now we will start directly with serving chains So what are serving chains? These are simply a chain commonly used for measurement of distances where a very high accuracy is not required. So these are used where high accuracy is not required. Remember. See, the chain usually consists of a uh, number of large links made of galvanized mild steel wire of 4 mm dia. Each end of the links is bent into a hoop. See, uh, I'll make a diagram of the of a chain. See, this is a diagram of a chain, serving chain. See, this is called a groove. Here, here it is a groove. This is a handle. This is the ring. And see, these are called links. This portion. This is link. These are oval oval rings, and this is the whole length of the chain, survey chain. Now, chains may be of various various types, like twenty meter and thirty meter long. Usually we we are concerned with 20 meter chain and 30 meter chain for measuring the linear distance. See, uh, if we are using 20 meter chain, remember, wait. Twenty meter chain, then we can say that it has hundred links, and if it is a thirty meter chain, it has one fifty links. Now
there are also some other types of chains uh, like one is these are important to be remembered one is gunter's chain see what's different in gunter's chain in gunter's chain its length is 66 feet 66 feet it is 66 feet long and it has 100 lengths remember another one is engineer's chain i'll make it here engineer's chain in engineer's chain the length is 100 feet and the links are also 100 so remember in engineer's chain the length is 100 feet and the number of links are also 100 but in gunter's chain its length is 66 feet but the number of links are Hundred. So third one is revenue chain. Make it. Revenue chain. So what is different? It is thirty-three feet long and can consists of sixteen links. Sixteen links. So these are some special types of chains uh, whose specifications you must remember. So this is all about chain serving chains. Now. we will uh, here is one more important topic that is testing and adjusting of chain testing and adjusting so what happens as per is and in standard specification the overall length of the chain when measured with a tension of 8 kgf that is 80 newton 8 kgf or 80 newton so when a tension of 8 kgf or 80 newton is applied and checked against a certified steel band or tape which has been standardized at 20 degree celsius then the overall length should be within the tolerable limits see 20 meter chain for 20 meter chain the tol tolerance limit shall be plus minus 5 mm and for 30 meter chain tolerance shall be plus minus 8 mm so these are some tolerance limits it's 8 mm now we will study some corrections which are related to serving chains first one is there are two types of corrections correction for standardization and correction for slope correction for standardization
and second one is correction for slope see we'll discuss each one by one so starting with correction for standardization see what happens If the absolute length of the chain is not equal to the nominated length, nominal length, or you can say designated length, then the measured distance will not be equal to the correct distance. So the correction for standardization has to be applied to the measured distance. This type of correction is also known as correction for absolute length. See if the actual if the actual length if the actual length is L L dash is shorter than the nominal length actual this actual length is L dash and the nominal length is L so the distance measured will be greater than the correct distance it's understood if the actual length that is L dash is shorter than the nominal length then the distance measured will be greater than the correct distance so in this case error will be positive and we know that the correction is the reverse of error so correction will be negative remember this point now on the other hand if the actual length L dash in this case uh, the actual length was less than nominal length now uh, this was case A in case B if actual length L dash is greater than nominal length then what will happen the distance measured will be shorter than the correct distance so in this case the error will be negative and correction will be positive now coming to the formula of this correction or corrected distance the I'll directly show the formula. So the formula is correct distance is equal to actual length of chain upon nominal length of chain upon nominal length length of chain into the measured distance so this is the formula for finding out the correct distance in case of correction for standardization see if I use the no, uh, notations here correct distance is denoted by L so L may be given as we know the actual length is given as L dash and normal length is L and measured distance is given by L dash so mathematically the formula becomes L equal to L dash by L into L so this was the correction for standardization hope you would have, you would have remembered the formula now Coming to uh, next correction, that is correction for slope. So this is a second type of correction used in chains. 
सी द मेथड ऑफ चेनिंग ऑन द स्लोपिंग ग्राउंड इफ सी इफ द स्लेप इफ द स्लोप इज यूनिफॉर्म द करेक्शन कैन बी कंप्यूटेड सी एज द डिस्टेंस मेजर्ड इज ऑलवेज ग्रेटर देन द हॉरिजोंटल डिस्टेंस सो इन दिस केस एरर विल बी पॉजिटिव so remember in case of correction for slope the error will be positive and it's understood that the correction will be then negative now why is why is it so that error is positive see because the distance measured will be always greater than the horizontal distance now remember that the slope correction is generally neglected if the slope angle is less than or equal to 3 degree if the slope angle is less than or equal to 3 degree then this correction is neglected now see if l is the slope distance and d be the horizontal distance then in this case i write it here in this case error will be l minus d and correction will be minus times l minus d that is d minus l now here further two conditions arise if we measure the angle of slope theta so in that case see if this is d this is theta oh sorry this is theta and this is d this is l so we can clearly see here that d so correction will be it is denoted by cg it will be simply d minus l that is l cos theta minus l or you can say l into cos theta minus l minus 1 or if you take minus common minus uh, l common you can write is 1 minus cos theta and everyone knows what is 1 minus cos theta it is called inverse sine inverse sine of theta so or d becomes so right here d will be equal to minus l inverse sine of theta so in this case the horizontal distance will be minus l over sin theta now the second condition is if difference of elevations is measured if h is be the difference of elevations and this be the length then we can simply write the correction as h square by 2l so this is the formula in this case now we will try to solve some numericals based on this correction of standardization as well as correction for slope now see 
is writing uh, the uh, these questions are from ESC. First question is ESC 1995. It says a 30 meter chain is found to be 0.1 meter too short throughout the measurement. If the distance measured is recorded as 300 meter, then the actual distance measured will be. Options are 300.1 meter, another is 301 meter, third is 299 meter and fourth is 310 meter. This question came in ESC 1995. See, we will directly use the formula for standardization. See, if I solve it here, solution will be. See, he has given a uh, uh, 30 meter chain was found to be 0.1 meter too short. So, we can calculate the actual length that is L dash it will be 30 meter minus 0.1 meter so it will come out to be 29.9 meter so now we will directly use the formula of actual distance so actual distance will be L dash by L into capital L dash. See L dash we have calculated is at 29.9 meter and L we know as 30 meter and in the question he has given the value of measured distance as 300 meter. So on solving we get it as 299 meters. So our actual distance L will be 299 meters. So our answer goes with part C. Now see here the another numerical is it came in ESC 1998. It says the true length of a line is known to be 200 meter. When this is measured with a 20 meter tape, the length is 200.8 meter. The correct length of the 20 meter tape is options are 19.92 meter, 19.98 meter, 20.04 meter, or 20.08 meter. So, see, we will solve it here. We will simply write the formula correct length or correct distance. Correct distance is equal to actual length upon measure length. Sorry, actual length upon nominal length into measured distance. See, he in the question. He has given the true length that is 200 meter and uh, he has uh, and when this was measured with a 20 meter tape so our L will be 20 we don't know actual length of chain so and measure distance he has given as 200.8 so on solving we will get 220 by 200.8 so our correct length of tape will be 19.92 meter so as per this option 1 will be correct now here is also another question It is a typical one, it is also based on same concept, but I hope you will enjoy in solving this numerical. See, the question says, a 20 meter chain was found to be 10 centimeter too short, uh, too long, sorry, after chaining a distance of 2000 meter. It was found to be 18 centimeter too long at the end of the day's work after chaining a total distance of 4000 meter he is asking what is the true distance if the chain was correct before the commencement of the day's work see he is working in parts first he is working uh, he is uh, measuring 2000 meter and then he is measuring remaining 2000 meter now see how will we how we will solve this numerical see 
he is saying that uh, for first 2000 meter the chain was 10 cm too long and after that after chaining 2000 meter it was further found to be 18 cm too long so remember this thing so for first 2000 meter we can find the average error e simply as 0 plus 10 by 2 it will come out to be 5 centimeter and in terms of meters it will be 0 0.05 meter so in this case incorrect length will be that is L dash 0 0.05 that is 20.05 meter see measured length L dash is 2000 as per the question so by using the formula the true length L will be L dash by L or L dash is 20.05 and L is 20 or L dash is 20.05 and L is 20 so here L dash is 20.05 meter and small l is 20 that is nominal length and multiplying it with measure distance 2000 we will get the value as 2005 meter so this was for first 2000 meter now in the question again he says for the uh, it was found to be 18 centimeter too long at the end of day's work that means uh, after 2000 meter the remaining 2000 meter uh, the chain was found 18 centimeter too long so in second case that is second 2000 meter average error e will be 10 plus 18 by 2 so this will come out to be 14 centimeter or 0 0.14 meter now here actual length of chain will be 20 plus 0 0.14 that will be 20.14 meter and measure distance L dash is again same 2000 meter that will complete total 4000 meter so here using this for I'll write it here by using formula L equal to L dash by small l into capital L dash we will get the true length so on substituting the values 20.14 and small l is 20 L dash is again 2000 so we get the true length let, uh, let us denote first true length be L1 and second true length be L2 so the value comes to be 2014 meter so now the total true length L will be L1 plus L2 that is 2005 plus 2014 so the answer comes to be 4019 meter so this is the final true length so uh, he was asking this what is the final true distance of the uh, if the chain was correct before the commencement of the day's work so option B is correct so this was all about today's lecture uh, we just started linear measurements and the first topic we chose was surveyor's chain and we also solved a few numericals from ESC. Hope you would have liked the lecture. Thanks.